नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता अकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम लोग क्लास सेवेंथ के जनरल साइंस में लेसन नंबर इलेवन सेल स्ट्रक्चर एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं सो so फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसके क्वेश्चन आंसर बाइड कर सकते हैं ये लेसन नंबर इलेवन सेल स्ट्रक्चर एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट वाट इज अल द एंसर इज द स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड अल नाउ नेक्स्ट सेकेंड नेम द डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनल्स इन अ सेल द एंसर इज न्यूक्लियस एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिक्यूलम राइबोजोम्स गोल्जी बॉडी लाइजोजोम्स माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया प्लास्टिड्स वैक्यूल्स आर ऑल डिफरेंट सेल ऑर्गेनल्स नाउ नेक्स्ट थर्ड वॉट आर माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म द एंसर इज द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑन द अर्थ विच आर इन एवरी एनवायरमेंट बट कैन बी सीन ओनली अंडर कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप आर कॉल्ड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म नाउ नेक्स्ट फोर्थ Which are the different types of microorganisms? The answer is bacteria, virus, fungi, algae, and protozoan are all the different types of microorganisms. Now, next question. Question number two. Fill in the blank with the proper word. First, the organelles called the dash is present in plant cell only. The answer is plastids. The organelles called the plastids is present in plant cell only. Second, garbage is covered into Dash by microorganism. The answer is fertilizers. Garbage is covered into fertilizers by microorganism. Third, in the cell, photosynthesis is carried out with the help of dash. The answer is chloroplast. In the cell, photosynthesis is carried out with the help of chloroplast. Fourth, an electron microscope is necessary for the study of dash. The answer is microbes or cell organelles. An electron microscope is necessary for the study of Microbes or cell organelles. Now next question. Question number three. What is difference between us? First, plant cell and animal cell. The answer is plant cell, animal cell. Plant cell first. Plant cell have cell wall made up of cellulose. Animal cell first. Animal cell do not have cell wall. Plant cell second. The cytoplasm of the plant cell is lesser, granular, and not dense. Animal cell second. The cytoplasm of animal cell is more granular. And then plant cell third. There is a single large vacuole located in center which pushes the cytoplasm to one end. Animal cell third. The cytoplasm is uniformly distributed in the cell. Plant cell fourth. There are no lysosomes. Animal cell fourth. Lysosomes are present in the animal cells. Plant cell fifth. The mitochondria are few in number. Animal cell fifth. The mitochondria are greater in number as compared to the plant cell. Plant cell sixth. Plastids are present only in plant cell. Animal cell six. Plastids are absent in the animal cell. Plant cell seven. Single or more but large vacuole present. Animal cell seven. Vacuoles are few and temporary form. Plant cell eight. The vacuoles are filled up with cell sap. Animal cell eight. The vacuoles are filled with food or excretory matter. Now next second. Prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. The answer is prokaryotic cell, eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cell first. The nucleus of prokaryotic cell is not distinct. Eukaryotic cell first. The nucleus of eukaryotic cell is distinct with nuclear membrane, nuclei, and nucleoplasm. Prokaryotic cell second. Prokaryotic cells are about one to ten micrometer in size. Eukaryotic cell second. Eukaryotic cells are about Five to hundred micrometer in size. Prokaryotic cell third. Due to the absence of nuclear membrane, the nuclear materials comes in contact with the cytoplasm. Eukaryotic cell third. Due to the presence of nuclear membrane, nucleoplasm and cytoplasm never come in physical contact with each other. Prokaryotic cell fourth. The cell organelles if present are without membrane. Eukaryotic cell fourth. The cell organelles are always bound with membrane. Prokaryotic cell fifth. There is indistinct nucleoid in which prokaryotic DNA is present. There is a single chromosome. Eukaryotic cell fifth. The nucleus is distinct with more than one chromosomes. Prokaryotic cell sixth. Mitochondria are absent in prokaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cell sixth. 
mitochondria are present in eukaryotic cells prokaryotic cell 7 chlorophyll is present in the vesicle and not in plastids eukaryotic cell 7 chlorophyll is always inside the chloroplast prokaryotic cell 8 prokaryotic cells are found in blue green algae and bacteria eukaryotic cells 8 eukaryotic cells are found in highly evolved plant and animals now next question question number 4 sketch and describe in your own word the plant cell and animal cell this is plant cell and this is animal cell the answer is first plant cell first there is cellular cell wall in plant cell which is outermost covering of the cell second inside the cell wall there is a plasma membrane that enclose cytoplasm cell organelles are embedded in the cytoplasm third plastid is an important cell organelles present only in a plant cell of this chloroplast perform photosynthesis fourth nucleus endoplasmic reticulum golgi body mitochondria are the cell organelles present in the cytoplasm fifth vacuole is usually single and large since it is present in the center of the cell the cytoplasm is pushed to the end second animal cell first the outermost covering is plasma membrane second inside this there is a cytoplasm in which the cell organelles are embedded third the cell organelles are as following nucleus golgi body endoplasmic reticulum and many smaller vacuoles now next question question number 5 explain the uses and the harmful effects of microorganism the answer is first uses of microorganism first microorganism decompose the waste and sewage water second by the process of decomposition they keep the environment clean fertilizers are prepared from wastes by this process with the help of biogas plant the biogas is prepared by the microorganisms third the microbes residing in the soil and in the roots nodule of leguminous plant help in biological nitrogen fixation this help in increasing fertility of soil and also in increasing the protein content of seeds in legumes fourth microorganism help in the formation of curd and other milk based product fifth the process of fermentation is used for producing alcohol from grain and fruits bread from flour as well as in the production of acetic acid citric acid lactic acid vitamins antibiotics etc sixth process like tanning of skin production of ropes and strings from again are also done with the help of microbes seventh oil is leak is cleared with the help of some specific bacteria now harmful effect of microorganism second harmful effect of microorganism first microorganism spoil the food in hot and humid air there is a fugal attack of food second microbes produce introtoxin and cause food toxic resulting into food poisoning third harmful microbes cause diseases in plant animals and human mbs is typhoid cholera hepatitis gastro are caused by water and food borne microbes fourth microbes cause diseases like malaria dengue elephantiasis yellow fever chikungunya zika fever etc these diseases are caused after mosquito transfer the microbes into human body common cold cough diphtheria pneumonia tuberculosis are diseases of respiratory tract which are caused by microbes now next question question number 6 give reasons first diseases is spread on a large scale during period of heavy rainfall and flood the answer is the spread of disease is most likely during heavy rainfall and flood the water and food get contaminated the water lodging cause growth of microorganism and house flies they spread the pathogens rapidly the humid atmosphere induces food spoilage even if flood water recedes the puddle formed help in the breeding of mosquitoes all such reasons are responsible for epidemic spread of diseases now next second there is a possibility of food poisoning if we eat stale food the answer is the stale food is likely to have microbe in it some of the microbes produce introtoxin the introtoxin cause food poisoning therefore there is a possibility of food poisoning if we eat stale food now next third soil is turned over during tilling the answer is there are some useful bacteria in the soil they help to decompose organic substances into inorganic nutrients thereby they produce fertilizers 
Some microbes also help in nitrogen fixation. They help the plants to get nitrogen, thus to have better yield of crop. The soil is turned over during tilling to mix the bacteria. Now next, fourth, fungus grow quickly in moist or humid conditions. The answer is the fungus needs suitable condition for the growth. The moist and humid conditions are favorable to it. It does not grow in dry conditions. Now next, fifth. A refrigerator is used in almost every home. The answer is the harmful microbes do not grow in cold temperatures. They grow only in the temperature range of 15 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. Refrigerator has very low temperatures. Food can be stored there without spoiling. Therefore, to store perishable food items, refrigerators have become essential in every home. Now next, sixth, bread rises during baking. The answer is when the bread is prepared, yeast is added to it. Yeast is a type of fungus. It undergoes process of fermentation in the batter of bread and release carbon dioxide. Therefore, the bread rises during baking. Now next, seventh, fodder is soaked in water before offering to cattle. The answer is by adding the fodder into water, it is fermented. By fermentation, the vitamin content rises in the fodder. It also becomes easier for digestion. The cattle is thus well nourished, therefore fodder is soaked in water before offering to cattle. Now next question. Question number 7. When will you use a simple microscope and when a compound microscope? Explain in detail how you will use them. The answer is first. Simple microscope is of laser magnification. One can observe the insect part or parts of flowers under such microscope. Second, compound microscope is required for the observation of microbes. Third, here magnification is 100 to 450 times. It is therefore useful for observation of cells and tissues. Fourth, the simple microscope stage can be used for direct observation. Fifth, the object to be studied by compound microscope is placed over glass slide and covered over with cover slip. The object is sectioned into very thin slices and stand appropriately. Sixth, the ocular and objective lens are brought in one line. Before that, the mirror is adjusted for optimum light. Seventh, the magnified view of the object is seen through the eyepiece. Eighth, the coarse focus knob is adjusted first and then with fine focus knob, the accurate focusing is done. Ninth, in this way, simple microscope is used for general observation and compound microscope is used for specialized observation that require greater magnification. So friends, today our lesson number 11 ka exercise complete hua. Friends, आप लोगों को ये video कैसा लगा? आप लोग comment box पे जरूर लिख करके बताइए. इस video को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा like कीजिए, अपने friends के साथ share कीजिए ताकि उनको भी question answer मिल सके. और इस channel को subscribe कीजिए. नमस्कार दोस्त.